pilots in this video we will build budget 7 inch long range drone from cheap deals from aliexpress and we can start from a frame from a set with the motors so i bought a frame with the set of isido motors the later isido motors v8 that was only around 70 dollars it was really not expensive so frame is right here this is the mark 4 v1 frame and it's really really cheap and this is v1 frame so uh, v1 frame only down one downside about this frame is because it have only one bottom plate so these arms were flexing a little bit so only small tweak that i did i just 3d printed the the stiffeners for the arms you can see right here i will also put the picture like right here i put the stiffener stiffeners between arms to make them stiffer and now this frame is pretty great also for the frame uh, you can use you really don't need because if you want to mount the sma pigtail in the frame you have hole for the sma right here but if you ha if you want to have it nicely and soft mounted i will use the the 3d prints so this one will be for sma maybe i can install the gps later i will use also the gopro mount and the ELORES antenna mount. If you don't have these mounts, you can even use the you can even mount the ELORES antenna on the arm. But I have 3D printer sets so just 3D printed these. You can of course also buy them from AliExpress if you don't have 3D printer. So these are not a problem. AST plus flight controller stack will be from SpeedyB. So this is exactly the same stack from my previous 5-inch freestyle success drone build. And it's really great, really bulletproof AST. I didn't have any problems with my Apex 5 inch drone, so I will use it also in this 7 inch build. The motors that I will use are exactly from the same AliExpress deal. It's, the motors were shipped with this frame, and the exactly spec of the motor is Isido S2806 motor. And this is one 1300 kV. So we have. So this motor is a little bit better version of these extreme budget motors from AliExpress. And I hope maybe they will last a little bit longer. So we have nice protection here. The bell is also pretty nice. It has teeth to grab on the propeller. And also it has the screw so you can remove bell easily if it gets some dirt inside for the vtx i will use also really budget 1.6 watt vtx from aliexpress and it was also super cheap and even comes with the normal antenna so i will show you this antenna also we have the vtx So we have the VTX right here and it have double radiator to spread out the heat so we have small plate right here and also a nice nice big radiator right here so it will cool down really great and have 1.6 watt maximum power output so this is a plenty for a long range drone it should be sufficient also with the VTX we will receive this antenna so this is longer antenna and, and this is not the original lollipop tree. You can I just let the focus. Yeah, this is not the original lollipop tree. But I will give a shot and we will just see how great the range on this one will be. Because it's long, so it's great because our battery on the top will not, not be on the way of the antenna when we will fly. For the ELORES receiver, I will use budget beta FPV the ELORES nano receiver. So on the discount, you can get this really really cheap, and they perform pretty well. For the camera, I will go more premium because this is one of the best cameras that you can get. You can of course buy cheaper camera, but if you want better picture quality, I really recommend you the Cadix Rattle 2 camera. Okay, so we have everything, we can start build this drone and if you want really detailed video how to connect everything I will link my video like right here 
how to exactly do everything it's over a one hour video and exactly with the same speedb combo so we can see how everything is hooked up but here we will just focus on the effect and how well it did fly so we can start building now Okay, here we go, everything is assembled, motors are soldered on, the camera, the, the camera is right here, the receiver is right here, the antenna from the Ilaros receiver is really it's pretty similar build, build like my Apex build, uh, the VTX is also at the back right here, with the pigtail going to the TPO print, the long antenna, and the one problem that I had, just to squish this huge capacitor you can see that it protrudes a little bit but i'm so lucky that this this spot that it's too high to close it i can show you so this is a great cutout in this frame because when i put the top plate already the tip of the capacitor is on that hole and i have like two and a half like two millimeters of space so it will not protrude more than this plate and it's excellent. So I will just put the cover on, set up the basic beta flight, which I also made the video how to set up a freshly built drone in beta flight. So I will put it right here. And so, and see you on the field. Okay, so here we go. I assembled everything. Of course, later we will fly FPV and also test how long we can fly on 6S lithium ion tech or 4S lithium ion tech. So I also flashed the, the Blue J 24K with the RPM filtering and the pit tune is from the UAV tech 7 inch and I raised the, the master multiplier to 1 because it was 1.5 and I, I was getting a little bit of oscillations and now we can check so the motor spin proper direction and then we add some throttle it's, it's not bad Whoa. <laughs> on the pie bladed props it, it really has some big punch because yeah, they are easier on the motors and they spin just faster so this is not a problem so it works so you're not bad yeah, I literally I'm hovering like literally, I don't know, like 20% of throttle maybe 15 yeah, so this is pretty punchy drone even, even though that it's a lower KV motor for long range it flies really really nice i'm really really excited to test it out on fpv and we'll see how it will handle in the fpv also and i i heard some people were having the troubles with the low throttle oscillations and the frame was wobbling a little bit but right here you can see that i i really don't have any troubles the drone is sitting pretty straight. <laughs> well, it's, it's pretty nice. These pancakeish motors are performing really, really nice. They have a lot of punch, even though it's low KV long range. 
on 6 or 5 power lipo is also really maybe it will even freestyle pretty nice okay so that's all for the lost us lost us is best it's pretty all right everything works and then we will see on the fpv how well it freestyle and also how long i can fly on lithium ion pack
was when I was flying the 7 inch this flight was without the GoPro. So I had uh, 26 minutes without the GoPro. I think with the GoPro you can get 23 to 24 minutes with no problem with this one. Or even you can use 6S 2P pack. So like two 6S packs also we have a lot of more capacity to fly longer and further. Even when I have like 50% of the battery it, it still had some nice punch. So it will be possible for you to get this out of a die for example. That's the reason also why I said especially for the bigger drones I'm setting the props in configuration because uh, the less you hit stuff and damage the camera but it's easier to get out of the dives with the props in configuration. Of course I want props out in freestyle builds and basher bash builds because of course when the props spin into the camera you will suck the stuff and rocks into the camera but with these huge drones you really not crash a lot so it's better to have props in. Okay, so here we go guys, we flew our 7 inch drone and it was freestyling pretty nice. Maybe I had a little bit of, of oscillations during the hard turns, but then I just uh, decreased the filtering and it just do the job. So always, even when you're loading some kind of preset, it's also good to make your own tweaks. So now it's great, you can even, you, you could even see that on this, that on this 4000 million power pack so i flew even 26 minutes on this 4000 million pack uh, in comparison with 5 inch i got 17 minutes versus 26 minutes so this is a huge difference and i really recommend if you want to do some kind of long range this is excellent for this task and i think you'll be really, really pleased with this drone it flies pretty nice after some tweaks in pit tuning is really nice so that's everything for this video thank you for watching and you can subscribe so stay creative and see you next time